so what we are going to do now now we are going to perform the risk analysis at user level okay so go to nwbc and in nwbc we have set up access management reports and analytics and my home work centers under access management work center we have access risk analysis under access risk analysis we have user level role level profile level hr object so we are going to perform risk analysis at user level click on user level and specify your backend system our backend system is jne455 and the user we have here is abhi user for which we have assigned a role and that role has su01 and pfcg transaction code so we'll see what happens here i am selecting abhi one user so this user does not have any group so remove this group and he does not have that group as well custom group and the risk level what risk level you want to find on this user medium high low or critical so we are going to find the risk analysis all so it means if the user has medium it will show you medium risk it will show you and if the user has critical risk it will show you all so if we don't select all if we select medium or high or low or critical for example i am selecting low and if the user does not have low risk it won't show you the other risk like medium critical and high so that is the reason i am selecting all here and we have created one rule set that is test rule set 1 and now i am going to perform risk analysis click on run in foreground okay yes this user has got a risk okay after we perform risk analysis this is the risk analysis report the user id is abhi okay this is the last name hi hi okay this is the risk the user has got test risk okay description role id and this is the risk level the user abhi has and this is the back end system where this user has a risk and these are the actions due to these actions this test risk has been populated okay so now what we have to do if the user gets the risk what we need to do will be having two options called remediation and mitigation remediation is what okay we have a risk to this user so we don't want to allow the risk to the user so if you don't want to allow the risk to the user then you need to delete you need to remediate this risk means deleting this risk from the user is called is remediation okay that is called remediation you need to go to the back end system and you need to delete this role from the user master record then the then the risk will be remediated and we have one more concept called mitigation mitigation is what as per our organization we are allowing this risk to the user as as per our organization we have uh, uh, very few people so the user abhi is going to perform su0 on activities and the same user is going to perform the pfcg activities as well so what we need to do as per our, our organization we want to allow this risk to the user allowing the risk to the user or allowing the risk to the role is called as mitigation so now we'll see the mitigation concept before going into the mitigation we will perform risk analysis at role level as well so what we have done we have perform risk analysis at user level and now i will show you risk analysis at role level click on role level and now select your system that is jne455 okay and the role for which you want to perform risk analysis and our role is z abhi okay this is the role we are going to perform risk analysis business process so we are going to select the business process which we created that is test 1 and what is that business process abhi 
test star test dp1 this is our business process okay so which or which level you want uh, which risk level you want to find on this role so i have selected as star all okay and the rule set which we have created is test rule set 1 okay no like we have configure uh, we have configuration settings in that configuration setting we have defined the default rule set is joseph rule set that is the reason it is displaying you the joseph rule set already we have discussed about configuration settings whatever you define in configuration setting that will be that will be populated as default understood if you want to set your uh, rule set that is test rule set as default then go to the configuration settings and in risk analysis group parameter group you just uh, select that particular parameter id rule set parameter id and set this test rule set one as your default rule set while performing risk analysis clear okay now we are going to perform risk analysis at user role level now click on run in foreground okay yes the role has risk the role name is z abhi okay access risk id is test risk and this is the description this is the role id and this is the risk level we have got for this role so this role z abhi 1 has risk level medium and that is in the jne 455 system and due to these actions this risk has been populated for this user okay so this is what business process so what we need to do for this risk do you want to mitigate this risk or do you want to remediate this risk remediating is nothing but deleting the risk from the role is called as remediation and mitigation is nothing but allowing the risk is called as mitig mitigation clear abhishek now we'll see the mitigation process okay let me close all these 